Section 3 deals with cleaning and maintenance. The firearm should be cleaned after each time it's been used. So if you go to the shooting range and you fired the firearm, it should be cleaned after each time it's been used. Should you carry the firearm, we suggest that you clean the firearm at least once a month just to make sure that the accumulation of lint and dust and, and cloth or whatever uh, from, from your clothing can be cleaned so that the gun is in a serviceable condition. Should you not use the firearm at all and it's just stored in your safe, we suggest once if not twice a year, give it a good clean and store it back in the safe again. To establish a, a correct cleaning environment, best thing to do is to choose a place that could be well ventilated so that the nitrous solvent um, doesn't get up your nose. Uh, make sure that your workstation has no ammunition around it at all. Make sure that there is a safe direction so that when you're unloading the firearm to start your cleaning process, you can point the firearm to the safe direction and ensure, please, that the firearm is unloaded before we start cleaning. Most accidents occur during um, cleaning uh, because people keep ammunition lying around or they forget to unload the firearm before they start the cleaning process. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated room. Make sure that your ammunition is not on the table, on the same table that you're disassembling the firearm. From there, you need to be very familiar with the way your firearm disassembles because each firearm has its own unique way of being disassembled. So you need to firstly get a fay with the disassembly of your firearm. There's three processes of cleaning. We have the first stage. Step one would be the nitrous solvent phase. Once you've now disassembled the firearm, we put nitrous solvent on a, on a, a flannel patch. And from there, we then clean all the steel parts with, with the nitrous solvent. We clean inside, we clean outside. With your phosphor bronze brush, we pour nitrous solvent on the brush, and then we then in, clean inside the barrel. And for the revolver, we clean inside the chambers as well, with, with the phosphor bronze brush with nitrous solvent on it. The nitrous solvent breaks down the chemical residue from your primer, and in fact, it's the priming residue that causes rust in your firearm. So the nitrous solvent breaks that down, and any lead deposits that's inside your barrel you can clean that out too. Once you've now nitrous solvent uh, the entire firearm inside and outside, again, a toothbrush or, a, or a, an earbud comes in really handy when cleaning your firearms as well to get into the hard to get places. Once you've placed nitrous solvent, we then take a clean cloth and we just wipe the nitrous solvent off and we then replace the nitrous solvent with gun oil. And the gun oil is there to lubricate and preserve the gun and protect the gun from rusting again. So again, we oil all the steel parts inside and outside. We place a flannel patch on your jag, and we pull that through your, your barrel with oil on it, so we can oil the inside of your barrel as well as the chambers on the revolver. Very important to remember now that once you've oiled the barrel, don't leave too much oil in your barrel, because should you fire a shot through, that oil will resist the bullet going out, and it can bulge your barrel. So make sure that once you've oiled the inside of your barrel, you take a clean 2x4, Push it once through your barrel, once out, so you're left with a thin microscopic form of oil inside your barrel. And then from there we take a cloth and we just lightly wipe off the excess oil. You don't want the gun to have too much oil in it, especially if you're carrying the firearm. You don't want the gun to be too slippery that you can't handle it. And secondly, you don't want too much oil to attract more dust and lint. Um, so once you've oiled it, just a nice cloth, we just uh, clean cloth, we just clean the excess oil off, and then from there... Um, the firearm can be cleaned, or maintained, sorry. Your ammunition, we do not clean ammunition with an oily cloth or with a wet cloth. Um, if you need to, if you feel the need to clean your ammo, take a dry cloth and just wipe your ammunition with a dry cloth. Don't use brasso so that you now make the thing nice and shiny, because again, it's water-based and it can contaminate your gunpowder. When we clean the magazines, make sure that you don't take one of these sprays uh, where we spray outside the barrel because you get oil that now um, seeps into the magazine through the, your witness holes and once you've got too much oil in there realize that your ammunition once you've loaded the magazine sits in that magazine and with, that oil, with all that oil inside it can contaminate your cartridge. So the same with the magazine. We place nitrous solvent on the magazine, we then place gun oil and then we wipe the excess oil off. A good cleaning kit will consist of a number of things, and we start firstly with your universal rod. Um, with the rod, we then have your gun oil. Oil is obviously there to preserve and protect the gun from rusting. Your nitrous solvent is to, it's a chemical agent to clean out all your, your lead deposits and your residue or chemical residue inside the farm once you've fired it. 
We then have the phosphor bronze brush. The phosphor bronze brush generally doesn't come standard in, in the cleaning kits where, where the guns, um, in, in your boxes, when you, when you receive your firearm, you'll normally have a, a plastic brush. But the plastic is not strong enough to clean the lead deposits outside, uh, from inside your barrel, so you'll need a phosphor bronze brush. This piece here is called your jag, and the jag has got jagged edges on it. These jagged edges here are to keep your flannel patches on so that they don't fall off. These are traditionally known as your 2x4s or your flannel patches. To clean and maintain the firearm, the first thing we need to do is find an appropriate workstation from where we can work from. We obviously identify a safe direction. We ensure that the firearm is unloaded. We want the magazine unloaded as well and no ammunition in the nearby vicinity. So once you've unloaded the firearm, put the ammunition away so that you can just clean the firearm components. To disassemble the firearm, obviously all your firearms will disassemble differently. You need to be totally afraid with how your firearm disassembles. On this particular firearm, we first check that there's no round in the chamber. We release the slide forward. We then invert the gun over. There's a little plunger over here. What we do is we push that plunger in and we turn the barrel bushing to the one side so that this plunger can then come out. From there, we pull the slide rearwards and you'll see there's a half moon on the slide and we need to line that up with the slide lock. From there we push the slide lock from this side, the slide lock will then pop out. From there we push the slide forward and we left with the frame and you're sliding your barrel and the return spring. We then take the return spring out. This bushing over here we turn opposite. We then pull the barrel out. Once the barrel's out, you'll see that the, the slide is clear, and from there we can start cleaning. The first process, we'll take a flannel patch. We then take nitrosolvent. We pour nitrosolvent on the cloth. The reason why we said earlier on is to have a ventilated areas because this has got a very pungent smell as well. With the nitrosolvent, we clean all the steel parts. So wherever you can get to with the nitrosolvent, we clean. And you'll be able to see the chemical residue that starts coming off. So with the nitrosolvent, we clean inside outside, wherever you can get to with the cloth. You can also use a toothbrush and an earbud really comes in handy as well. On the frame we do the same thing, we clean inside, wherever again we can get to with the flannel patch on all the steel parts. Realize that perspiration from your fingers can cause severe rust. And this particular firearm is um, hard chromed, but believe it or not, the chrome rusts as well after a long period of time. So once you've used the nitrosolvent on all the components, all the steel parts, inside and outside, on the barrel as well, you'll find the part that gets really gungy is here, the, the actual entrance to the chamber. Um, that gets really dirty once you've, once you've been firing. So we take nitrosolvent all over the, the barrel. We then take your slide lock. We can clean that with the nitrosolvent too. And then your magazine, again the perspiration from your fingers, from loading and unloading, can cause rust as well. You'll see also the magazine on follow on top. You can also wipe with the nitrosolvent. And you'll see how it cleans that quite nicely. From there, we take our rod. We place the phosphor bronze brush on the rod. We then pour nitrosolvent on your brush. Once we've poured the nitrosolvent on, we take the, the barrel, we push the brush into the barrel. Very important with this is that we take the brush and we push the brush all the way through the barrel and all the way out. Don't put the, barrel, the, the brush in and then start cleaning like this backwards and forwards. Firstly, you're going to damage your brush very quickly and after long periods of time you can, you can damage the inside of the barrel. So we push the brush all the way through and all the way out. All the way through, all the way out. 
Once we've nitro solvent all the pieces, I normally just take a cloth and I just wipe the excess nitro solvent off all the steel parts. So again, inside and outside. On the frame as well, inside and outside, just to get that excess nitro solvent off. We then place the jag on your cleaning rod. We can then take your cloth, we wrap this around the jag, and from there we clean the inside of the barrel. We just wipe, you can see how dirty that was. From there, we take gun oil. I prefer to start with oil in the inside of the barrel, so we just wrap this around your, your jag. I normally take gun oil and just pour it on the flannel patch. Realize that the oil now is to preserve the the steel from rusting. So we take the, the cloth and we push this through just to oil the inside of the barrel. And then what I normally do with this same oily cloth, we just oil the outer and inner parts of the firearm again, just to preserve it from rusting. You'll actually see there's quite a healthy form of oil on here now. And should we leave this oil in here, this is just going to attract more dust and lint. So once we've oiled it, we need to then just wipe this oil clean. Wipe, remove the oil. Again on the magazine, we just lightly oil the outside, the top of the magazine follower. Once we've done that, I take a clean flannel patch. This is the most important process now, because once you've oiled the barrel, we've, we've discussed before that you mustn't leave all that oil inside the barrel. So we take a clean flannel patch, we push it once through the barrel, once out. And what we're left with is a microscopic form of oil in there. We then wipe the excess oil off. So again we just lift, left with a thin film of oil so that it doesn't attract too much dust and lint again. Once we've wiped all the excess oil off, as a precaution, I like to take a bit of oil on my fingers, and on the slide, where the rails are, I like to put oil on the rails, because when you're firing, you've got steel on steel, and I prefer to have some form of lubrication on the working parts. So we just place oil on the frame, on the rails, and from there we can reassemble the firearm. To reassemble, we insert the, the barrel. We place the barrel bushing on. Remembering that all firearms will disassemble differently according to manufacturer specifications. Once the barrel is inserted, we then put the return spring in. We then line up the barrel link. This barrel link will line up with these holes in the frame and then we need to line up the slide lock. So from there, we place the rails together. We place the slide on. We then check to make sure that that link is in position. We then push the slide lock in. We then, on this particular gun, we'll have to pull the slide back so the half moon lines up with the top of the slide lock. We then push that in. Once that's inserted, we take our barrel bushing, we place the bushing over the front, close it to make sure that it's in position. From there, we function check to make sure that the firearm is operating correctly. And from there, you can see the gun is still very oily. I just take the oil, a dry cloth and just wipe all the excess oil off the firearm. And again, your magazine Wipe the excess oil off your magazine and your gun should now be cleaned.